Welcome to Cooking with Bubbles. I'm Lisa. And I'm Rodney. Let's get started. Okay. Well, Lisa, while we're getting these bubbles poured, we want to remind our audience to head over to cookingwithbubbles.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure you click on the bell symbol so that you get notifications when we post new episodes. And also go over to facebook.com slash cookingwithbubbles and give us a like. That way you can see all of our recipes, all the pictures that we take. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, oh. these bubbles look amazing. Yeah. I'm using a little orange juice today, something different. Ooh, I'm gonna do some cranberry as usual. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Clink. Cheers. Ooh. Wow. Always good. Ooh. Well, here we are, Lisa, doing <laughs> what we love. We are cooking together. We're drinking Prosecco together. And we want to invite all our viewers to um, pour your own glass of bubbles and become a bubbler with us. We're also, I also want to point out we're wearing our nice embroidered Cooking with Bubbles aprons which every person that cooks needs an apron to protect your clothing. Um, so please, uh, we'll tell you later in the episode how to get your very own apron. That sounds really good. So Lisa, what are we making today? So today we're going to make um, waffle iron omelets, something mm -hmm. totally different. I've never made them before, but we stumbled across this great little recipe and we're like, we can do that. That sounds really, Ooh. really good. Yeah. So basically it's got in it. Um, three eggs. I'm going to be using a little bit of Italian sausage, a little bit of ground chicken, um, and I'm going to put some red pepper peppers in there and top it off with some cheese and some Greek yogurt as well. Yum. Well, yeah. let's bubble to those amazing ingredients. Yeah. That's good. I'm also going to go ahead and season my egg mm. mixture with a little bit of salt and pepper. It always says to taste, which is to me very funny because you're not going to taste a raw egg. Right. And, and you're putting it in before you taste, right? I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. Well, you've got your set of ingredients, you know, just to, just to spice it up, you can add whatever ingredients you want. I've got some red onions that I pre-cooked. I got some leftover hash browns from yesterday's breakfast that I'm going to throw in there, some Canadian bacon. You can put whatever you want in. And, uh, really good. and also just a tip, you know, it's really important to use um, nonstick cooking spray whenever you're using your waffle iron so that you don't have to uh, get in there with a, a toothbrush and scrub your waffle iron when you're done. <laughs> and you also want it to be able to come out of there pretty easily. Absolutely. Too. Another important Absolutely. reason for doing that. Let's see if I can position this so you can see what I'm doing. Very nice. So I'm going to be yeah. tossing in some onions. Okay, basically, we're just putting it all in the eggs, right? Yeah. Exactly. And I've already um, beaten my eggs and just a, and I've pre-cooked everything that I'm going to pre-cook. Yeah. Throw it all in all here. All the ingredients are pretty much pre-cooked. At least the meats are. And the the recipe, it also says to throw your cheese in there too, right? I'm going to put some in. That sounds good. It does look really good. I'm gonna probably put some on top when it's done as well. The almonds just a carrier for the cheese for me. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right. Well, wow, that looks nice and nice and yummy. I mean, it's simple too. I mean, this is a great way to use some of those leftover items from the rest of the week. So the way the waffle works waffle iron works is that it tells you when it's ready because a little green light comes on. Yep. So I think I think mine's ready to go in. How about yours? Me too. Nice and smoky, which is what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to put maybe about a quarter cup, give or take. I'll see if I need to add more as I go. Now mine looks like it's going to take the whole mixture. Yep, I'm going to add more. Same here. Okay, put that lid down. Mm. All right, I got a little bit of leakage. <laughs> oh, so maybe a little too much? Maybe a little too much. 
I'm going to take a picture so I know what the, what the damage is later. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay, close it. And this is one of those things that I spin it over. Yep. And, and then the light goes. Light, the little light will tell you when it's ready, correct? That's what we're hoping. <laughs> I know it's a little yeah. different. It's different. It's a little different than when you use like a regular waffle maker, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I got a little eggage coming out of the side of my waffle iron, but it's cooked, so that's good. <laughs> nope, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my light just went off. So I think that's oh, wow. good. Is that good? That's really good. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm gonna put it back down. Here we go. It needs another. <laughs> It says in the recipe that it takes about two minutes for the egg to cook. Okay. So I'm going to see what that looks like. I did pop it open and look at it. It looked really nice. <laughs> All right, mine's too full. It won't spin back. Oh, no. <laughs> Trial and error. It's all good. Nope, not done. So it does take a full two minutes. Well, so let's see what happens. I think with this waffle iron, it's when the light goes back on that it's actually done. Yeah. Wouldn't it be helpful if I read the directions? It probably would have been, but you know, here we are. That's not how most people cook. Directions? We don't need no stinking directions. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is yours done? It looks done. All right. I'm going to take mine out too. They want it at the same time. different. Well, it's not quite done. I'm going to just put the lid down for another minute. <laughs> I forgot that eggs expand when they cook. You taking yours out? Yours is done? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. They're done-ish. Okay. I mean, they look real pretty. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna grab a big I'm trying to figure out a different way to get them out of the pan next time. I have a big spatulator. I'm just gonna lift it up, see if I can get it under it. Oh, there we go. This is just one of those experiences. You got to play with it, figure it out. Yeah. So I'm going to put some more cheese on top of mine because, you know, cheese. Me too. And this is why we encourage anyone who's watching our show, if they have a better tip or better way to use some of the things we've done, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Send us your pictures. Send us your feedback. Cookingwithbubbles at yahoo.com. We'll tell you more about that later too. All right, this looks pretty decent. I'm gonna taste it this does. guy. I mean, we're not knowing what we're doing. <laughs> Mine turned out pretty good, I think. Have the fun. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on mine. That looks good. Maybe I'll take another picture of this. It's called an omelet, but it looks more like a scramble. Yeah, it's definitely a scramble. Hot mess. A mess. <laughs> but you know what? It's going to be delicious. So I'm ready to taste yeah. mine. Mmm. Sounds good. You must like it. Wow. I love the potato in it. Mmm. That's good. Very good. A totally different style of egg. Mm -hmm. Got a little Greek yogurt doll up there. Yeah. Very nice. Something different. <clears throat> well, I think we've done it again, Lisa. <laughs> that was quick, too. It was quick, for sure. Well, we want to thank our virtual audience for joining today. Thank you so much for watching Cooking with Bubbles. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, Cork Tray. Um, he provides us with these really beautiful cork and wood trivets that we use to protect our counters. They're made from recycled, upcycled products. 
Um, so give them a like over at corktray.com. Um, and also we want to uh, remind you to, again to subscribe to our YouTube channel and become a bubbler at cookingwithbubbles.com and click the bell symbol so that you get notifications with our episodes. And also head over to facebook.com slash cookingwithbubbles and give us a like so that you can see our recipes and our pictures that we take along the way. That sounds really good. We mentioned earlier, we tell you how to get your own Cooking With Bubbles apron. We just need to hear from you. Send us an email, cookingwithbubbles at yahoo.com and we'll give you more detail about that, how to get your own. And I mentioned before, if you have recipes that you'd like to see us make on Cooking With Bubbles, send them. We'd love to hear from you. Well, Rodney, I think that pretty much takes care of it for today. I'm Lisa. And I'm Rodney. See you next time, bubblers. Thank you.